Hello and welcome to the Regional Report here in Dublin, Ireland. On this show, I have Julie O'Neill, General Manager at Gilead Sciences Limited. Welcome to the show. Uh, Julie, uh, your organization, Gilead, is a US-based biotechnology company. It's one of the top bi biotech companies in the US. What are you doing here in Ireland? Um, Fintan, we've been in Ireland basically since um, the company that I previously worked for, Nexstar Pharmaceuticals, was acquired by Gilead in 1999. Gil Nexstar was another US multinational with a strong European base. So Gilead acquired Nexstar in 1999, and w since then we have developed from a very small base as mainly a packaging and release testing site to, um, with the acquisition of Nycomed Limited in September of 2007, an integrated pharmaceutical manufacturing organization in Ireland with two sites, one in Dublin and one in Cork. Right, so the acquisitions was basically was the route in which Gilead got, got in. That's quite unusual for, for companies because they come in here on a greenfield site, but you're actually building in through acquisitions. Yes, well our intent was uh, originally last year to um, expand our operations through development of a greenfield site. However, the opportunity with Nycomed came along and um, we acquired the, a brand new facility which had been completed in October 2006. So it was a ready-made solid oral dosage facility with its EMEA and IMB approvals already in situ. And that opportunity in Cork came a, came a result of Nycomed's acquisition of Altana Pharmaceuticals. That is correct, yes. Right. yes. So you, you picked up a, a manufacturing opportunity there. We did, yes. So for a company like Gilead, why are you manufacturing in Ireland? Why are you continue to, to look at Ireland as a location to, to operate from? Um, a couple of key points. There is a very strong compliance focus in Ireland. Um, the record of Irish companies with the Irish Medicines Board, with the FDA, for example, in terms of the regulated environment in which we work has been very strong, and that's very important for Gilead. Mm -hmm. We pride ourselves on our reputation in terms of our compliance to regulations, both locally and globally. Secondly, um, just in Ireland, we've had a very good success story from a small organisation with eight people in 1999. We had grown to 80 people in Dublin um, product um, from our supply chain basically entered Ireland and was distributed, packaged and distributed onwards and we've had a very successful relationship um, in Ireland and I think that drove some of the decisions behind our desire to expand our operations here. Right, uh, and, and people often look at Ireland from a tax perspective but, but clearly one of the key things it, you know, are people, the skill sets that you require, particularly in an industry which is highly regulated um, and the issues of delivering product is so important to the, to the marketplace. Absolutely. Um, I mean, within our own organisation, 60% of our workforce has a third level qualification. And there is a ready access to that pool of employees throughout um, Ireland. Um, there have, you know, the, the Irish edu education system lends itself towards um, people progressing to third level. We have, um, since probably the early 90s, no fees in universities, so access is easier. And therefore, there is a great pool of highly trained personnel coming out of universities and who are available for industries such as ourselves to, um, to come and work in our industries and to be trained and developed even further um, in, in the functions that we have within our operations. So, so are all the people who work, from, uh, for work for Gilead here in Ireland Irish or do they come in from other parts of the world as well? Um, we've had recently with the, um, the net migration into Ireland, we have some um, uh, employees working or from other different from many different countries right. but the 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 strong uh, the workforce that um, is mainly is mainly Irish okay mainly and, Irish. And, and obviously uh, in Ireland people are aware of or people outside Ireland are aware of some of the universities famous universities here in Ireland but it's not just those famous universities that are important there are other organizations like FOSS who who provide support and have you actually had experience of that? We have, yes. I mean, FOSS have the training centre in Cork, which we haven't availed of uh, until now, actually, because uh, it it's, has a very strong link with our solid dosage manufacturing capabilities. But um, FOSS has always been there as a training ground for many of the support functions that we have, have always done a good job in terms of training operators and upskilling early school leavers and people who haven't had the opportunities mm -hmm. that our education system affords. So, you know, FOSS has been there behind us all, but there also are the um, regional technical colleges or institutes of technology as they're now known, who though they're not fit world famous universities, provide a very strong basis for our graduates and uh, the, a great graduate pool coming from them. One of the uh, things about the pharmaceutical industry, it's technology driven um, and it's not just technology driven because of the products it generates, but it's technology driven because it's uh, the, the processes by which you manufacture 
um, drugs also require innovations and technologies. So does Ireland, for, for a company that's involved in manufacturing here in Ireland, do you have the access or do you have access to that additional skill set which is innovative technology driven? In, 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 in relation to manufacturing. Do you get that here in Ireland? Absolutely. There has been a real cluster effect grown out of the strength of the pharmaceutical industry and um, the presence of so many sites that all of our support industries in terms of um, those companies that support our process technologies are readily available locally, um, which is of great benefit. I mean, many companies have actually, in, um, on the support side, invested and developed a presence in Ireland on the base on the foot of the pharmaceutical industry being here. And that's very uh, very important. I mean, to have ready access to engineers and to technologists who can come and help us resolve issues or who can also help us develop new systems and new processes is very, very helpful. Right. And uh, you know, obviously Ireland's part of the EU, it's part of the European Union. Um, is that important? That is key. And uh, one of the reasons um, the company that I work for started in Ireland was because it was a portal for access to the EU markets. Because, you know, and, and I'm sure you're aware, once product is released in one EU member state, it is available to the market yep. throughout the remaining of the remaining countries of the EU. Right. So that was very important for a US multinational to have product manufactured, brought into Ireland, released, tested, and then distributed onwards. And uh, Ireland provides that portal. Um, we have an ability I in terms of the Irish workforce to turn product around, to meet our deadlines, to, to undertake, and to meet the commitments expected from our parent companies. Mm -hmm. and, and the other issue, I suppose, when, when you're looking at Ireland and the type of company that your parent company that you have, your, your parent company is a US biotech, it's got that particular type of culture. Mm -hmm. How does that culture back end into the, into the Irish culture? Extremely well. Um, Gilead is a very dynamic organization and I think the workforce and the people, people of Ireland are very dynamic individuals. They're dynamic in their communication, very strong communication capabilities able to work cross-functionally and in, in teams. And that really is, um, is very close to the way a, a biopharma company operates. You know, generally they don't have huge numbers of employees when, they when biopharma companies start. They're small, lean, and need to move forward. Speed to market, time to market is very important. And I think the Irish culture and Irish psyche really knits in very clearly into that, uh, that type of organization. Mm. If I knew uh, of a biotech company or a pharmaceutical company based outside Ireland who are considering coming to Ireland mm -hmm. uh, to manufacture, what, what would you suggest I'd say to them? I'd say the workforce is great. There's a strong compliance history. It's easy to do business. If you want to get your product to market, this is the environment in which you should come because there are people willing to help you both at government and at the employee base to make that all happen. And f from a Gilead point of view, looking into the future and, 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 and your own plans for uh, future products coming through, mm -hmm. is Ireland going to be a place where you continue to expand? Absolutely. Um, I mean, our goal is that um, Gilead, uh, that the, the Irish site will play um, an important role in clinical trial supplies and a new product introduction and be a site potentially for product launches. So it will play a pivotal role in our, in our pipeline development. Julie O'Neill, thank you very much indeed for coming on to the Regional Report. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you, Pint.